To measure the volume in 10 milliliter graduate cylinder, look for meniscus and record the number with two decimal places. For a 100 milliliter graduate cylinder, you can only record with one decimal places as the estimated number. But for burette, again, you measure with two decimal places, pay attention to meniscus. Beaker does not give that accuracy, so you just estimate the number. Same thing for flask because these two are not measuring devices. Measuring the volume for a test tube, because test tube doesn't have any graduation line, we are using 100 ml graduate cylinder, fill it up all the way to the 100 exactly, and then transfer to fill up a test tube all the way to the top with water. Then look how much of the water has been used up and subtract that from 100 to get the volume for test tube. Record the number with one decimal. To get the volume for a golf ball, you should assume that it's a spherical shape. Measure the diameter using the ruler. Record that number from the image and do the calculation using the formula for volume of a sphere. I want to uh, measure the volume for 20 pieces of zinc, but because these are irregular shape, I'm going to use the method of measuring volume by displacement. I place a specific amount of water in the, uh, in the graduate cylinder and I read the, the volume, which in this case, I want you uh, to read the volume carefully and record that volume as the volume of, of the liquid. When you record the volume as the uh, volume of the liquid, We're going to add the zinc. The zinc would displace some water. The level of the liquid would go up. And now we are going to read the volume again with the close up. So we read the volume. You record this volume as the as the final volume, which is the volume of the liquid plus the zinc. Uh, for measuring the volume for regularly shaped object, like this box, uh, which is the, um, the empty box, just want to measure the volume. We are going to measure the, the, the length, the width, and the, uh, and the height and use a um, formula for measuring volume of a rectangular box, uh, which is the measuring volume of a cube. Same thing, length times width, width times the height, and we can measure the, uh, or calculate the volume. So pay attention to these volumes, uh, to this measurement. We align the zero to one end, and then we make sure that the other end, we read the numbers with the S, including the estimated digit. And when we record our three measurements, we can then do the calculation for volume. 